Well, hello, my badass friends. My name is Cece, and this is My Badass Life. As you can see, I've got a bit of change of scenery going on, although not a change of clothing. I think this is what I wore in our last video. That's the hazard of traveling with a small amount of clothes in an RV. And so, uh, today I am literally in the state of my youth. This is the state where I went to college, lived for a number of years afterwards, and I am in South Texas, uh, down in Puerto Rancis, Mustang Island, actually a place that I'd never been, even all the years that I lived here. And so it's very cool to be seeing this. For all of my Texas friends, please don't be upset with me for not connecting this time. We were on a time schedule and we were trying to escape the storms that had just come through. We're only gonna be here for a short time before heading home. So my apologies, I still love you, I think of you often. Anyway, being here today has really made me reflect a little bit on my youth, you know, when you go through something like cancer, it does make you really look back at all of the things in your life and all of the choices. And while I don't regret any of the choices that I've made because they have brought me here to this place today of learning and wisdom and love with that amazing woman walking back there, I recognize that the mistakes that I made here were pivotal for my, for my, I don't know, my being, let's put it that way. You know, I always had good self-esteem, but I did always put up with and tolerate a lot from the male partners in my life. And I say male because they were all male before Amy. Most of you know, she's my one and only female partner. And it's just interesting how we allow ourselves to be undervalued by sometimes the people in our lives. And if you're one of those people doing that, recognize what that's doing to you. I mean, I got to a point where I didn't even really know who I was anymore. And I'm not just talking about one relationship. I had a few while I was here. I mean, I was here for 11 years. And of course, um, you know, I, I, I sold myself short in all those relationships and I tolerated things that I should have never tolerated. And I allowed things that I should have never allowed. And I realized had I put my foot down sooner, those relationships would have ended, which would have been fine by the way, or they would have um, been healthier. And I realized, I started thinking about why did I do that? Like if I had such good self-esteem, why did I allow myself to be, in these, to be put in these situations? Well, I realized quite honestly, it was because I thought that I had the ability and the power to fix things. I thought that love would conquer all and that I would, I would be able to help the people in my life get better or resolve their addictions or somehow evolve past the point that they were with and that being together and and one of us striving toward a healthy relationship would make all the difference and guess what i was wrong and so i didn't tolerate because i had bad self-esteem and i didn't think i was worthy because i really had to ask myself that question i'm like why did i put up with that like did i not think that i deserved a healthy relationship well of course i did but I also thought that I could be the, let's call it savior mentality. I think I thought that I could save them from themselves. And by the time I realized I was wrong, I'd lost myself. So you may be wondering what this has to do with cancer. Well, here's the thing. I've always said that I do believe that there's a mind body connection to cancer. And some of these things are things that I had to work through throughout my life, but especially when I got diagnosed because I really wanted to be the healthiest I could be mentally, physically, and emotionally. And so I, I've worked through those things, but it's funny how just coming back to a spot can make you really wonder and question and, and try to figure those things out. So what I'm gonna tell you today is the same thing that I tell myself. I am worthy. I am, you are worthy. You are loved. You are worthy of being loved. You're worthy of being cherished and you're valuable in this life. Don't ever forget that and tell yourself that every day. Write it and put it on a mirror if you have to. You are worthy. I love you. Mwah.